Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. Uh, long time no see. So um, <laughs> I have a 12 by 12 process video here for you today. Um, I have to admit I'm a little rusty. This is the first layout that I've done um, since before December daily. Um, I didn't do any layouts in December. I only worked on my December daily. And so I left in all the rusty parts so you'll be able to see them. Uh, so what you saw me doing was um, gluing down a cut file from the Hip Kit Club. Um, it was one of the free ones. They did a bunch in December. All you have to do is be a member of their website and not actually the Kit Club to be able to access those. So um, that's always a great thing if you have any kind of... Uh, uh, electronic die cutting machine I guess I'm trying to say here um, so yeah I did cut out that cut file and I glued it on down which took kind of a while but it was well worth it I love the way it turned out um, and what I'm doing now <clears throat> is um, applying some watercolor to the background uh, smushing it on there with my plastic here and these are actually the crepe paper um, brand I guess watercolors they're really really inexpensive borderline cheap I would say the ones that you get at Michael's are even a better quality like the cheap ones from Michael's than these um but I'll tell you it pushed me over the edge to get them actually I just picked them up at a Tuesday morning you know a few months ago and they were I think five bucks but what really um made me get them I guess at the end was not the quality but the colors they really have a lot of colors in there that specifically coordinate with crepe paper I feel uh and so that's why I got them but again they are very poor quality I mean I'm sorry if that offends any maybe I got a bad batch mine are poor quality the ones I have um but they serve their purpose I just wanted a light wash on the background of kind of some blue so um that's what I did back there and I, I know it's hard to see on camera um and as I'm doing my layering here I'm just going to take a moment to kind of apologize for the lighting that this uh, video is going to, it's going to take you through some changes. I'm going to admit that now because I did this during the day and I have a window directly behind me. I'm downstairs um, uh, of my house and so the window when it's behind me and the sun comes in it, it cast a weird shadow so hopefully that won't bother you too much but just a forewarning <laughs> that the lighting will definitely take you on a little bit of a journey hopefully not too frustrating of one um so anyways yes I am using snow and cocoa for this and I have that wood grain paper behind because I did cut down um the white cardstock with the cut file glued to it um because I knew I wanted something around the edge and that pink paper is from the six by six pad and then I just cut like a cut apart a black and white text that says burr um and those are kind of going to be my layers and so you see I have my picture with my layers there and I felt like I needed some more blue to the left so I'm just going to go ahead and add that with the paintbrush um, and just trying to kind of dab some up um, so that my, I don't have to use my heat gun on this so I had pre-pulled these embellishments um, I thought I wanted to that I want I thought I wanted to do at this point like a very snowflake heavy theme um, but once I started laying it out you'll see I I don't use, I don't think I use any of these snowflakes in the end, but again, I'm, I'm rusty. I haven't done a layout, um, you know, in at least a month. And so, uh, this was just my way of working through it. I felt very lost doing this layout, to be honest. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I like how it came out in the end, but it took me a long time to get there and it was definitely, uh, Definitely a labor, I would say, to get like kind of the creative juices flowing again for this 12 by 12. Um, so I'm cutting out the middle of this wood grain paper because I really love it. I love that wood grain and, um, I'm, you know, you're not going to see that part anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and this is just not a strong point. I actually end up doing okay here, but I usually am really bad at matting my layouts um, like this. I don't know why. I just, I can never get them like even or straight or, but thank goodness this one came out pretty decent. Um, there you can kind of see some of that blue paint I have on there. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry. It is hard to see. I did kind of try to alter the exposure a little bit on my video because my lighting got so weird. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yes, here's some more changes I'm going through that won't 
that won't stick with the layout. Um, I pulled out this Let It Snow from the chipboard sheet, uh, which would have been a great title. But I just, it wasn't feeling right to me. I couldn't make it work anywhere that I felt comfortable with it. So uh, I ditched that and I'm going to go ahead and attach these layers. I usually do that at some point in my layout before things start to get away from me. And I should add, I did add a chipboard uh, frame from the chipboard sheet. That frame right there is from the chipboard sheet underneath th those layers. Um, just because, I, you know, if I don't know exactly what colors I'm going to be using, especially if I'm using like a whole collection like this, I like to have at least something that's multicolored and represents all of the colors in the collection because that way um, I can use whatever and it will tie in somewhere. So that's just a little tip, I guess. <laughs> Although here's another multicolored piece that I'm using. That one says Hello Snow. I believe, I don't know if that was from the die cut pack or if that was um, from a cut apart and I just had cut it off and stored it in the die cut pack. But either way, it's part of the collection. <laughs> Um, and then I have that little banner there that says the wonder of winter I believe that pink banner and I'm going to uh, end up layering that under that printed banner on that card um, so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this up on some foam tape um, so that it will all sit even with that frame there And get that kind of stuck down where I want. And I think I, yeah, I have to grab my ruler because <laughs> the angle I sit at, it's hard for me to see if things are straight or not. And so that was just kind of a lazy way <laughs> for me to make sure it was straight instead of standing up. Because that would have been too much work. Um, <laughs> so I just roughed up the edges of that paper a little bit. I like to do that just to add some texture. And I'm going to go ahead and start sticking some stuff down. Again, I have no real, like, plan of where anything is going to go. I just figured I'm, I like these pieces where they are. And so I'm going to go ahead and stick them down before um, either I can change my mind or before things get out of hand <laughs> and start flying everywhere. Uh, yeah, so here I am with the ruler again. Again, being lazy because I didn't want to stand up. <laughs> That's just a perk of being... Uh, four feet 11 is even when you're sitting in a normal size chair it's you still can't see anything <laughs> um so yeah so I'm looking for something to kind of ultimately fill in that space down there and I settle on this chipboard banner that says uh snowflake kisses and I'm going to actually layer that over the photo and that other banner that's printed on that card and then I think I also snuck in that little chipboard bird down there. Gosh, I love those birds. I wanted to hoard them. But it worked so perfectly for me. You know, I loved the way that it was um, kind of looking right at my puppy's face. Um, and I mean, this photo, it's pretty self-explanatory. My dog was playing in the snow uh, this year. And I did recently just do, I mean, at least on my channel, a video with this collection and it was also a picture of my dog playing in the snow, but she really loves snow. And the other picture was from last year, so this is kind of like an updated <laughs> version, I guess. Um, so I'm working on my title now, and I ended up using some October afternoon pink alphas to spell out snow. And then these are those adorable Dear Lizzie. I think they were from Saturday, if I'm not mistaken, her collection Saturday. Um, thickers, and I spelled happy so the title's going to be snow happy which is kind of corny but that's all right <laughs> so I kind of fussed with these letters a bit I don't know why I was being so particular with them um but I was and so I'm kind of layering them so like the h uh, how do I explain this the a is sitting on top of the the H and the P, the first P if that makes sense and then the second P is sitting on top of the first P and the Y if that made sense but yeah so I was kind of fidgeting with them um so I kind of felt like that bird was I don't know he needed something layered underneath him so I just grabbed this sticker off of the sticker sheet it's just a, like a aqua snowflake shape and I just layered that right behind him um I don't know necessarily how much it adds or doesn't add but I did feel like he needed something over there with him and so I chose that um, yeah, so there, this, all this downtime in these videos, I, I mean, it's just me being indecisive and not kind of just trying to get my groove back, right? Like, I mean, 
I don't know, for me, it's hard when I take such a break. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I found these in my pile of stuff that I have shoved in this bag with this collection. I'm like, I forgot I had these adorable puffy stickers, so I'm going to grab some of those. Um, and so, I, yeah, I grabbed some snowflakes and some stars, I believe those are. Um, and then the word stickers are really cute, and so I'm going to grab... I think three of those, two of the white ones and then one of the black ones, and layer those, not layer, just put them under the title, <laughs> stagger them. Uh, my terminology is off. Um, so yeah, uh, it's, you know, kind of coming together a little bit, but it's, you know, still not where I want it to be. So I'm going through the uh, die cut pack again and looking for something, and then I thought that that would have been cute. Um... I mean, it is kind of cute, I guess, but I don't end up using that. And then I love that bear, but that just looks goofy right there. So no, that wasn't going to work. Um, but I did love the thought of having a tag that I could put some, you know, um, twine through for some more uh, texture. And so I, I go for this bright tag, which the size worked really well. The phrase worked well because, I mean, obviously it's bright and snowy. <laughs> and so I put some mint and white... Uh, what is that? I just said it twine through it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and I, I do like the way that that looks. So one thing I was kind of um, trying to be conscious about while I was doing this is the fact that there were just a lot of phrases and words. And I find myself being a bit self-conscious about that with my layouts. Like, there's just so many phrases and words, you know, die cut pieces have words and then the stickers have words and the chipboard have words and then you have a title. And so I was kind of being a little weird about that, but you know, I, I guess it's more interesting to look at. Maybe you have more things to read. <laughs> so I wanted to add something to that bright tag. So I pulled out these mittens, mittens, mittens. Uh, and then that little phrase sticker was from the sticker sheet and I'm just pulling off like these little tiny stickers and kind of just sprinkling them around. I go back to the puffy stickers and again I'm just going to grab some of the smaller shapes, stars and snowflakey type shapes um, and go ahead and put them on there and uh, kind of just scattering them around <laughs> where I feel there needs to be some little things. I took that circle one off because I felt like it was too big, I think. And so I'm going to go back and look for something smaller. Um, I didn't put anything gold on this layout. I, th I don't believe there's anything gold that I'm aware of. Um, and so I, I kind of thought that was interesting. And, I, and so that was the reason that I didn't grab one of those tiny circles off the sticker sheet is because it was teal and gold. And um, yeah, I had just... You know, I was thinking when I was looking at it, like, I haven't used gold anywhere on this layout, so I didn't want to... I mean, not that gold isn't great. I use gold on, like, every single layout. That's why it was interesting, but <laughs> I didn't. So, anyways, that is the reason why I did not use that one little sticker. <laughs> so, I did some stitching on my sewing machine. I stitched through the title um, under that bright, the word bright on that tag, and then just down the left side of uh, some of the layering by the photo and now I'm grabbing some sequins um, I'm first putting down some clear studio calico ones which I realize are probably hard to see on the video um, but they do add like a little shine in real life when you see them so I do love those and then I'm grabbing some pink ones which are also from studio Cal calico they're like in between that peachy pink color um, so yeah, I'm going to use some of those and then I'm going to grab some teeny tiny silver ones that actually I think these might just be from the dollar store if I'm not mistaken. And so I'm going to kind of scatter those around and it was a great opportunity to be able to use the silver um, because I didn't have any gold. Not that I, I have used gold and silver together, but um, yeah, it was just nice to have that pop of metallic versus the gold. And so I am going to use my glossy accents to stick these down, which I usually use when I use those clear sequins. So, I mean, why not just use it for all of them, right? <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm just going around and I'm sticking them down. I've had this bottle of glossy accents for like three years and it's not even like halfway gone. That stuff really lasts forever. So yeah, there they all go. I just kind of push them down to make sure that they're level because sometimes you can 
you know, they end up crooked. <laughs> so, yeah, the sequins are done. And what I mean, oh, yes, now I am going to grab my date stamp. And I don't do any journaling on this. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. And like I said, the stickers say a lot. <laughs> so I just did the date stamp in gray on the border. And here are some close-ups. Oh, I also stitched around the border in teal. So you can see that in the close-ups. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much the layout. I hope that you enjoyed the video um, and the layout. And um, thank you so much for watching. I will have... Uh, oh, I forgot to glue this sequin down so you'll see me. Glue that one down right here. There we go. <laughs> okay, back to the close-ups, I believe. So yeah, that is it. I love the way the cut file looks, the white on white. It, it really added some great texture and made all the colors kind of really stand out. Um, so yeah, there will be some stills, and hopefully I will see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.